All right, please hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review to the two, for to the 2023 sequel to the 2019 DC Shazam called Shazam Fury of the Gods. Now here is the plot. Billy Badison and his fellow foster kids are still learning how to juggle teen, teenage life with their adult superhero alter egos. When a vengeful trio of ancient gods arrives on Earth in search of magic stolen powers from them long ago. Here is the cast. Now, as I've said in the community section, I was going in this with low expectations, and I did enjoy this up to a degree, more than I would have if I went with more higher expectations. Now, for me personally, this film, compared to the first one, there is too many main heroes, on top of me personally not being a fan of Shazam slash Billy, and uh, some of the other heroes in here as well. It kind of did kind of feel a little bit cluttered, to be honest, and I was trying the best way to describe it. So let me just compare it to, let's say, the Avengers. I honestly kind of felt the same way about the Avengers because they're, uh, they're more like uh, Extended War and Endgame where there was just tons of them. There's just different stories for every one of them. Um, but it's just like with the Avengers... They had, it was it was more spread out, I should say, compared to this where it's just, they were in and out with the characters for a lot of the time, even though this was more about a surrounding um, Billy and his friend. For me, the jokes at times felt forced, but superhero action-wise, it was entertaining. For me, this was better than the first one around you know uh so the so-called comedy could have been toned down in my personal opinion i think i said it about the first one uh i probably would have enjoyed it way more than i thought i would if they toned it down and more focused on uh the action kind of like they do with and i hate to compare this to marvel because in reality i'm i'm a dc fan that likes marvel more uh, DC and Dark Shield or whatever it's called as, you know, the Hellboy stuff and all that stuff, you know. I love them all, uh, comic books all the way around. Um, so I don't, I'm not really on the page of, oh, this one's better or this franchise is better. Um, so, um, but uh, the film was okay, in my personal opinion. Um, could have been better. But here's my rating. So tell me in the comments below what you guys thought. I'm actually very curious because when I've looked at if I wanted to pay 19 bucks for this, right? The rent it, just to rent it. I wanted to see if it I should wait till it's on like way later till it's on um you know if it even comes on there on HBO Max. because uh, they own War Brothers, at least as of right now. Um, so I wanted to see the reviews. I wanted to see just a glance of what people are thinking, obviously. Uh, and then going online and seeing people's comments. Not doing too much because I don't want to fully influence my opinion. But I already had a bias going into this, obviously. So it wouldn't have really changed that much. Because um, I really, really didn't like the first one. But... It, it, it just came out... It, it, it looks like there was the usual... View bombing on DC from three different critic places. I am I am I am DM or wherever it's called, and and uh, the, obviously the most famous, infamous Rotten Tomatoes BS place and all that stuff. And we know they're all crap and stuff. But I I had an interesting time with this. Would I say that this? is one of the three films that are coming out of DC or the last of the Zack Snyder verse 
that is something I was excited about? Definitely not. Um, I am definitely looking forward to seeing Aquaman 2. I am definitely looking to seeing The Flash, despite the drama around the pedophile that is playing the uh, Flash, unfortunately. Um, but um, I'm, I'm see, and I am interesting to see what James Gunn does. Despite I'm still not happy with him doing what he did to Henry Cavill, but it is what it is. We got to move forward. So um, I went on long enough. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and school.